Hi everybody, welcome back. So let's play Grandia 3. Now don't we head on and out of the gate and progress with the main quest of the game. Oh, do you have anything to add? Off to Bacula Ruins, cross this desert to get there, but don't go to the south of the watering hole. The Desert Lord is there. The Desert Lord? What's that? Lord of the Baculan Desert. It's too fierce for the likes of you to handle. Just be careful out there. We've risked our lives up to this point to meet with Yoke, so we'll be alert. Did you say it's south of the watering hole? You got it. Just be careful. And good luck on your quest for the Guardian's help. Thank you. All right, everyone. Let's depart on our quest for the holy words of Yoke. Clearly this is an optional boss. The question is... Am I actually tough enough to take it? Or is it late game boss? Who knows? When I grow up, I want to go on a journey and seal off the verse spheres. My mission is a person of the corridor. That's right. In order to do that, we have to receive guidance for our mission. Grandpa told me about it. For the people of the corridor, there's nothing more honourable than going on a mission. Honour, huh? That's something I've always found hard to swallow. You're not supposed to eat it. Honour is what our people's pride is based on. It's very important. That's exactly what they said in the valley, over and over. How are we supposed to live by such a sketchy word? After coming this far, I thought for sure you'd understand the importance of having pride in your mission in life, Ulf. I don't know, can this fairy guy really understand the pride and honour of our people? I got here before actually I must have got to this point when I played through myself okay south of the watering hole should I go south of the watering hole I could always do it after the mind you maybe I won't have Diana after the main quest oh I thought I'd give you something new maybe not Oh, balls. Hey, maybe it was on another page. Well, let's see how good her tremor is then. She's got power ups. Oh, you've also got tremor plus two. That's pretty sweet. In fact, you've got more magic than Alfina. Okay, so Tremor isn't that good, but two Tremors is pretty good. I'm guessing that's the watering hole. And that must be the mini boss. Okay, it's pretty quick. No oh, mighty yo, I call on you for protection. Can you interrupt 14? Well, at least we know how many HP he's got. Here I go. You don't have any single attack per spells. You can try and paralyze him, or you can try and interrupt him. We'll try paralysis. Now you can try and interrupt. This might sting a little. Okay, it's going to take a long time if I don't do any damage Sorry, to it. This might hurt. Well, the good news is I can paralyze it. So dark. 
dark. Okay. Well, that other guy wasn't shitting, was he? He was actually telling the truth. out as well. Oh, it's still bugged out. Oh right, well I guess we'll be restarting the PS2 then. Okay, well, we'll take that to be true then. We will avoid that monster. He is too good for us. Oh, here's a little stegosaurus-y thing. Sand lizard. And Diana is level 16, not level 17, so I must be slightly better than I expected to be. Oasis looks nice. So yeah, with two, tried before, and I can get away with just attacking them. Or at least I did before. Wow, her physical attack sucks. Bring them on. Now I've got two choices. It looks like that is blocked off for the time being. That must be a return route. So we be pretty sure we have to go forward. Oh, I've already thought this little collection. Ah, you've got a zap all. Well, let's see what Zap all does. Now, you might as well use magic every time because your physical is so bad. But we have limited MP and we need it for groups, so no, let's, let's not do that. Can I have a Zap all now, please? Come on, game. I don't know how good or bad that's going to be, right? Eh? Better, and it's better than Tremor, at least in terms of power. And it costs twice as much, and it doesn't have as good an area. A blade of light to strike at our enemies! Oh my god, not only is your physical attack oh, terrible, it's really slow as well. Fine, we'll just knock out some trainers. Okay. Seems to be the way to fight all these flying um, ally callers. Alright, we did it! 
still they're an awful lot weaker than the enemies we fought in the last area, those stupid knights on horseback. They were a million times stronger than these things. There's no way two tremors would have wiped them out. of Mother Earth. Yeah, I've got to say, they're pretty poor, honestly. Oh, there's a knee thing there, what's that? Oh, no, that's a weird noise, what is it? Undead Mage Boom, that sounds bad. Storm. Uh, it's a single enemy. No, we don't. Is it a single enemy? Also damages nearby enemies. Well, that's a bit non-specific, but we'll try it. Now, you do have a circle. Convert life force to mana. Enemies life force to mana. Well, that is very useful. Oh, you can top your I mana see. up, I'm guessing. Pardon me, but would you mind sharing? Neither does a lot of damage or adds a lot of H or adds a lot of mana. Take this! And that doesn't even do a cancel. Feel the rage of Mother Earth! Okay, that owns. And you've got two turns and I haven't had one turn, that is bullshit. I've got it! Here I go! What's actually left? Just one, just think of it. Well, I don't think very much of Dana's mana ability. He did like 19 damage and then give me something fairly pitiful for plus health as well. Plus 7 SP or MP, I think it said, which is less than half a tremor. It's just a big empty space. That's pretty underwhelming.
this'll fix you up. All right, we did it! These undead mages are actually pretty serious. I wonder if we should do some hard lame stuff. Right, see what homing shot does then. Okay, I don't see what homing shot does. Well, if you get a level up, you can still interrupt it. No. Pick a card. Any card. I like the theme, but it does absolutely book all damage. Look how much better that was. That was ridiculously better. We were just only getting the one. It says damages nearby enemies. We'll see if it actually does, because those two are currently undamaged. Well, at least it does a lot of damage, not as much as Flame Spike. Pretty good. Uh, what are those three doing? They're doing something. They're doing a Dragon Dance. Um, you can only cancel one of them. Cancel the nearest one. This might sting a little. Oh, well, I cancelled all three of their turns. That's pretty good. Tremor. I don't think Undead Mages are as good as the Mounted Knights. And okay, I'm a level or two up from them. But actually just in terms of outright numbers, I think uh, I think those Knights would beat these Mages. Okay, I ran away there. Put everyone to sleep, except for one. I'm not sure they're particularly practical to kill these undead mages. Yeah, I'm better off just killing idiots. You know, the little lizards and stuff. Oh, nice. There's a recover there. Oh, well, in that case, I could have been a lot, a lot more aggressive with all my abilities and stuff if I knew that. 
don't know how long it's been. I'm going to cut a lot of this out, of course. Shall I end the video here? I don't think it's been very long. Mm, all I've done is cross like two maps that were a straight line. It feels longer because I had to restart the PS2. No, I'm going to keep going for a bit. Ram looks a lot more draconic than like a sheep. Jesus, look how big this is. This is enormous. Well, I think the current video might be very short. But if I put that on, it's going to be a very long video. So on that basis, I'm calling an end to the episode here. Thank you for watching. Come back for the next part of Grandia 3.